Galapagos is definitely the best conserved tropical archipelago in the world. So that makes really a unique place in the world. It's not just about its beauty, it's not just about it's a famous touristic place, but it's mainly about Galapagos is a unique functional ecosystem. The Galapagos National Park and the Charles Darwin Foundation invited Google to the Galapagos Islands to collect imagery for both scientific applications and management of the islands. Surprisingly, the Galapagos have not been that well mapped in the past. There has always been satellite imagery, of course, but to now take that next step and to work with Google to provide better mapping for Galapagos is something that's very, very important for our work and, and much appreciated. First time, first trekking in Galapagos, so let's see how it goes. We usually see this kind of turtles here, and uh, actually these tortoises are uh, born in captivity. They are part of the reintroduction program of the Galapagos National Park. Doing research in Galapagos is a very, very tough task. So if there is some way to capture as much information as possible, and then having this information collected and available for researchers, it's just great because you can minimize the costs of field work. Invasive species have always been the biggest threat to the Galapagos archipelago. Uh, invasive species are plants and animals that don't belong here, but once they are here, they, they often turn into a threat for the endemic and the native wildlife. We are brushing off the remains of Humedatus and Minas de Azufras on Isabella Island, and we're getting rid of all of these plants before we take it on to another island, and we're just trying to get all the seeds, all the plant matter off. Galapagos is one of those places that if you were to take anybody underwater, this is the location in the world that you would take someone. So it's very, very important that we reveal this well. It started off as a, a project to reveal the oceans to the world. Um, Google is a critical partner for us because there's really no point in doing the science unless you do the engagement and get people aware of what's actually happening underwater. We've seen a 50% drop in coral coverage over the last 50 years. So if we want to do something about what's going on in the oceans, we really need to take people virtual diving. Probably about 6.30 in the morning, and uh, we are about to take the trekkers out and attach it to the front of the boat and collect some of the shoreline of the Plaza Islands. We're hoping to help the Charles Darwin Foundation and the Galapagos National Park Service get validation data and imagery to really prove what kind of vegetation, what kind of birds are in certain areas of the island. Um, will be a very interesting dive because uh, Galapagos is famous for its currents um, and really we don't know what to expect so you can get some really vicious currents coming around sea mounts etc um, and over the top and even pushing you down so you've got to be very careful on these kind of dives especially when you're in very deep water. And today we are heading to Mosquera which is a sandbar between the island of Santa Cruz yeah, Lana Patra.
Well, we're here at the horse base camp, and we're about to go up to the top of the crater. Very excited. Going to be a good day. It's a pity that it's closed. It's closed now because otherwise, if it's open, it would be an amazing view here. But let's see if we are lucky, and uh, later we maybe have some sun. Please. Well, just about five minutes ago, this was completely cleared. There was no fog. You could see the steam. You could see the sulfur. You could see all the lava. How does it look up there? Daniel, can you hear me? Yeah, hear you. Loud and clear. It's amazing. Geologists will love us for the years to come. <laughs> I'm so sorry you are not here. We're going to visit in Street View. 